Hi everyone, this is uh, Ryan here from Blockchain Markets and um, today I'm here with the uh, um, founders of Blue Whale. So then uh, uh, we're going to dive into what uh, Blue Whale is and then we're going to talk a bit about uh, the uh, gig economy and what the solution that uh, Blue Whale brings to, to the table. So welcome guys. Hi. Hey guys, yeah, thank you for having us today. Yeah. No, thank you for taking the, the time to go and then discuss about uh, um, uh, Blue Will. So um, to start, guys, if you can uh, uh, introduce uh, yourselves and then uh, we, we start w more with um, Blue Will afterwards. Okay, great. Uh, it's very nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Will and I'm uh, CEO of Blue Will Foundations. And uh, prior to uh, the Blue Will Foundations, I operated a uh, marketplace business. Uh, in the sharing economy sector for the past you know, uh, three to five years and also I total I spent like seven years in a uh, startup uh, startup world as a co-founder and also CEO yeah. and also uh, Jay, uh, can you briefly so my name is Jay Choi I'm managing director of Go Well um, I, I have I used to work for the Oracle and some market system to provide services for Samsung and LG uh, major manufacturing company in Korea uh, I worked for the, this uh, IT industry for seven years and moved to Switzerland and run top running a soda company in, in Lausanne, uh, EPFL, which is uh, Echo Polytech uh, uh, Lausanne. And I joined the Blue World Network. Uh, we found it together with Will and Harwans. And uh, I'm really happy to answer whatever you, you are, have questions for about us. Thank you. Great. Thank you, guys. Um, so now, um, if you, uh, any of you can uh, describe in just a few words what a Blue Whale Network is. So, um, so basically, uh, we started this business in order to uh, solve the existing problems in our sharing and our gig economy. So basically, uh, we can see three uh, problems in the gig and social economy uh, sectors. The one is uh, excessive you know, commissions, in high commissions, and also excessive advertising costs. The last one is despite of, despite of freelancers and our contractors' hard work, they are not able to get any employment benefits. So we've designed a uh, system called Blue World Network in order to uh, solve those three problems. So, uh, and then um, and the Blue World Network is comprised of three main components. The first one is then Decentralized Associate Network and CAMP, a Contribution Activity Manager. And last one is uh, the LEBA, the Reward Bank, can manage all the uh, rewards uh, from contributors. Interesting. Yeah, I think that that's, uh, um, that's um, uh, in fact, one of the, the main reasons why I wanted to do this interview with you guys because I've been very much involved in the in the gig uh, economy, mainly from a hiring perspective, but also uh, I have a lot of I know a lot of people that are um, um, are switching from a company to being freelancers, and I can I've studied that for a while, uh, and yeah, I saw the same basically that uh, what everybody says is, is that you can get. Uh, um, gigs from Fiverr or, uh, or Upwork or uh, um, um, freelance. Uh, but then, uh, then people yeah, complain about what, that one thing that you said, more the, the high fees, and maybe more importantly also then they think of the security side. Like uh, many people are thinking in, in uh, switching to a more uh, independent type of work, but that's stopping them, the, the security, because they think, well, we are, I'm not just leaving my job. I might earn a bit more in this uh, as a freelancer, but I'm leaving uh, uh, all the benefits of the company. Mm -hmm. So I think that's that's key. That uh, and it's very interesting that you're tackling that that problem. Um, so if we can uh, um, go a bit uh, deeper on the, on those problems, and then what you saw that it was uh, you already mentioned the uh, three things. If we can see, like for example, like I mentioned some some platforms like Upwork or Fiverr or uh, freelance. Uh, what things? Uh, uh, if we can get a bit uh, deeper on that, uh, what did you think was the most uh, interesting thing that you thought? Well, we can tackle this with blockchain. Actually, blockchain is a great uh, use case for 
um, tackling the limitations that uh, these other platforms have. So do you want to so I think the blockchain is very, I mean, uh, very innovative technology and leverage and even your economy because in order to somehow, uh, for now, there are many issues in the dance economy. For instance, like the contract, for instance, like payment is not paid on time or sometimes they skip because of the customer they don't want to pay if they deliver their product. This can be uh, actually programmed into smart contract to actually guarantee that they're going to be paid based on their what they uh, have committed to customers, and without any exceptions, this will be conducted based on conditions you agree on the in the beginning. And in order to actually connect many freelance economy, economy even for platform, because our system is not we um, uh, we are making the standalone system by ourselves. We try to connect many other platform partners in the economy. In order to build the connectivity between many platforms, we need to build trust system. So that many participants they can participate in providing fair system. This is why we end up with the blockchain to build trust between a community and platforms, all the stakeholders in this ecosystem. Perfect. Um, yeah, Sorry. and also, uh, if you don't mind, I can also quickly add on, uh, you know, uh, what, what, what is that? So, and also, uh, you know, I also used to uh, operate a uh, marketplace business. And uh, the reason why uh, marketplace businesses uh, need to take high commissions is because of, you know, uh, an advertising uh, cost is, is quite high. They also uh, need to use some sort of maybe like Google AdWords and also Facebook ad and also Instagram as those advertising uh, costs are you know, extremely uh, expensive, right? So they also need to pay a lot of money in order to uh, bring uh, new customers. And uh, a lot of money actually also go to uh, those centralized uh, tech giants, right? So what we would like to do is, uh, we would like to somehow build you know, automated uh, system through a token economy so that we give you know, certain uh, you know, uh, rewards you know, based on their contribution activity. And then uh, they can also somehow bring a new customers, you know, uh, you know, through like their, our referral system. And also uh, those people can also act you know, you know, this and also uh, in tech. So we somehow want to automate the, uh, uh, the economy. So then each platform doesn't need to hire a bunch of sales teams or doesn't need to pay a lot of money on advertising. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting because that brings like the very concept of uh, decentralization more to people without having to go to this uh, centralized big uh, uh, advertising company. So you can keep the, the profits and then distribute it that way with re referrals. Um, one thing is, um, can you hear me well? I can hear you well, yeah. Yeah. Um, can you hear me okay? Yeah, there was a, a bit of a um, stop in the, the connection, I think, but now we're, we're back. Uh, and, um, yeah, this was some, uh, some delay. So, um, now that we, we discussed that also then the, about the, the gig economy and then what the, the solution and the, the way that, uh, that Blue Whale is going to tackle that, um, maybe it's good also to go through um, the main features um, to, and start discussing the contribution activity manager, uh, the decentralized associated network, and the reward bank. So the, those are very interesting features. Um, do you want me to explain more details on those three components? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, the camp, it, it, let, let me start with uh, DEN, Decentralized Associated Network. So that is, uh, uh, you know, component can generate revenue through our referral system. So, so what we do is uh, through DEN, you know, we plan to uh, build our own uh, advertising network. 
So basically, it's pretty simple. So uh, let's say you can do certain uh, activities. For example, if you know uh, the painters or uh, a chef, then uh, you can uh, bring them and enter their you know, contact information. And then uh, we can also uh, validate and also our uh, committee member also validate through verification process. And then uh, if a platform can successfully acquire those people as a, a service provider, then uh, they can also earn tokens. And also you can also earn tokens as well. And also uh, you know, individuals can also promote the local businesses through our decentralized advertising network through uh, uh, like their social media or messengers. And then uh, if your friends also can somehow purchase or you know, visit or use those local services, and also those people, the referrer and also referee can also earn tokens to uh, them as well. So basically, it's simply like this. You know, uh, as you know, on Airbnb, we're able to uh, build like in a big, you know, community through a referral program, right? Yeah. But the problem is how many platforms and also how many businesses are able to successfully build those referral programs without having any engineers or uh, without uh, investing a lot of money, right? It, it will be a lot more difficult. And also, uh, even though, even then you actually build your own referral system, if your customer can only use those referral points in your platform, then uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty uh, limited, right? So what it can do is we can somehow provide the general version of referral system, not just for platform business, from a small, medium business, but freelancers, and small medium businesses to uh, platform business as well. So they can easily uh, integrate our referral system on their website, or they can generate campaign through our business dashboard so that um, they can use a referral program and then uh, their customers, they can also receive you know, our token called BWX. So they can use BWX in order to purchase your service or uh, if they purchase your product, they can also receive our uh, tokens as a reward. So that we can somehow build a uh, unified version of referral system from individuals to uh, platform businesses. Uh, that is then. And um, the Jay, do you also want to explain more on that or can? Yeah. So I can very, very simply explain about the then then you can have a reward bank. So basically, then, like just will explain, this is a hyper connected um, the network for advertisements. So connecting many platform and freelancer, so they can advertise, promote each other. So whenever they bring some traffic, they get benefit out of it because they actually the, the contributor the, of the new customer acquisitions. This is so you can think as a then decentralized associate network. This is a like. I mean, good thing about this because if you, if you use Facebook or Google, they, they actually charge a lot based on impression. But this network, they're only gonna charge based on actual payment, for instance. So this actually brings first the free network, and also this brings really low fee and uh, high um, efficiency. So Cam is what the Cam is more contribution activity manager. You can think as uh, this is more incentivize system that actually encourage the freelancer they contribute to the network and community. So whenever they can participate as a, as a real actor in the platform, they receive rewards. For instance, instance, platform when they operate, they need a lot of resources for operations. They need to acquire a new customer, right? They need to also um, arbitrate some disputes or they need to verify some services. We actually designed to build based on blockchain to giving back this role with reward system. So whenever they contribute, they receive rewards. So basically we are trying to distribute most of our profit back to community so that we don't take any margin, but we want them to own our system. Interesting. And the reward bank is kind of um, how we keep all the rewards safely. So basically all the money we receive um, from other network or other um, decentralized uh, association network, which we regard as revenue, we keep as a lower bank, which will be distributed through uh, the network and also will be in the reward bank from. 
So your bank is kind of, you can think as a like reserve, which will be distributed through, through the network community. Got it, got it. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. So then um, the, the reward bank basically uh, works as a, the, the, the reserve where it collects and then redistributes to the, the network. Yes. Interesting, interesting concept. Um, well, I think like we, we have covered like the, the, um, the main things for, um, on, we went through what the, uh, the, gig, the, the, the gig economy looks like, um, and then your, your, the way that you're trying to tackle the problem that other companies uh, um, are not doing, and, and by using this interesting uh, uh, technology of, uh, of blockchain. Um, also, I think that it's very interesting. I haven't seen in, in other projects uh, uh, related to uh, uh, to working platforms where you can uh, work as a, as a freelancer. There are a couple uh, now also uh, launching uh, uh, ICOs, but I haven't seen this concept of a uh, uh, of, uh, contribution activity manager, uh, decentralized association network, and, and especially the, the um, uh, having a kind of a reserve, which I think is also very uh, interesting because it it is uh, making the whole uh, infrastructure uh, more solid. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, uh, having said that, uh, guys, uh, from my side, uh, I think we um, went through all the, the points that I, I have for the, the interview. I don't know if there's some, something else that we're missing that you would like to discuss as well. Um, you know, basically, so our philosophy is basically um, like you, you can, you know, like Lincoln's, uh, his address at Gettysburg is we want to make, we want to build a system owned by freelancer and run by freelancer and for freelancer, basically. We want to be some uh, autonomous platform that can run without any intervention by big player or investor or founders. Basically, we want to give them back to the community so that it can run smoothly without any the conflict so that the people who work for the platform they can receive fair rewards through our platform interesting yeah i think that's that's all um, um the whole concept behind the, the um blockchain that i find also so interesting that is giving back to the people the the uh, uh the power but also the, the profits and and as and is uh, rewarding people accordingly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thank so, you very. Sorry, carry on. This is really a challenge because uh, this requires a lot of people's the participations. So I think uh, it's in order to achieve this goal. This is a really change challenge. But if you if you have your support and community support, we can achieve together. Yeah, I think it is a community uh, effort. You're totally right. Um, oh, speaking of uh, something that I, I forgot um, asking you, uh, is in terms of um, of a roadmap. Uh, where are you at the, the moment, and where are you looking uh, for, towards uh, the next quarters or the, of the, this year? So basically, we we just you know com we recently completed our you know ICO. So. Yeah, that is what we uh, completed so far, and uh, the, this year, you know, we plan to uh, provide you know beta version of our uh, initial system called BWN, and then uh, we are going to uh, deploy our system uh, into uh, you know several business partners. So, including uh, for local is a marketplace for local experiences, which is available in uh, U.S. and also Canada and Singapore. And also, we have you know uh, one more partner in uh, Singapore called you know, PMP, and uh, another one is we also have you know, a couple of you know, partners in South Korea as well. So we plan to uh, provide our system so that they can uh, use our uh, you know uh, our you know, three main components, then and also Cam and also Reva, the viewer bank, and we want to some prove that this system is working well. And also next year. Uh, based on you know, as you know, we are in you know, Icon first D app, so mm -hmm. we are you know, uh, the, we are making our system you know based on our Icons you know mainnet. Uh, but next year, next year once we can approve, 
we would also like to provide our own mainnet and then we are going to connect our mainnet with um, our uh, our the partner the icon so then you know we aim to build you know a hyper connected you know ecosystem you know not just you know uh, for block, not just like you know, tech companies uh, we also want to somehow embrace you know, existing uh, sharing economy platforms and as well as small uh, businesses by providing uh, advanced technologies such as blockchain and also uh, you know, you know, AI and so, you know, platform business technologies, yeah. And do you, do you want to? So I think uh, we're gonna uh, really focus on uh, feasibility and acceptance of the market, because as you know, um, there's no such uh, significant application in the market, especially in the sharing economy. Because uh, 95%, I think more than 95% freelancer, they don't know about blockchain, they don't, they don't have any, the cryptocurrency so we need to actually lower their barrier to you know uh so we need to build um to easy to accept easy to enter mm -hmm. this is actually our uh, target is lies in in our products so we're going to speed up to to lower the, this barrier by um bringing uh, increasing their usability and user experience even you know like who doesn't know blockchain or who doesn't yeah. know cryptocurrency we're going to bring them on on board this is our goal in this year and next year. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, that's the most interesting thing because at the end of the day, like when it, it reaches the, the total adoption, the vast majority of the uh, of those people won't even know about blockchain. Uh, that's a conversation we're having now. Uh, as, and um, so then uh, it's a good opportunity to say to everyone that is listening now, uh, that is, uh, working in one of those uh, um, uh, platforms now that I see is a freelancer. It's just, uh, um, I think it's a good opportunity for you guys to go check uh, um, Blue Will Network, go to the, uh, follow them on, on their social media, uh, subscribe to the, the newsletter, because I think it's a, it's a very interesting concept, especially for you guys that are, that are uh, um, uh, in the gig economy but also for all the blockchain enthusiasts uh, also from that angle is very interesting as well because it connects two worlds that are uh, the technology the blockchain technology plus this big and, and fast growing uh, gig economy um, so with that said I'd like to thank you guys for um, uh, for taking the time to um, speaking with uh, me and uh, for this episode of blockchain markets uh, and yeah, I hope the best and I hope that we can in a few months from now uh, have another chat and, and see how things are, are going and are moving forward in a Blue World Network. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you again. And also, uh, you know, if you have any other question for our project, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. And also, uh, if some people who will watch this in our interview, uh, they can also follow us on you know, Twitter and also Facebook and also we have over 70,000 uh, Telegram members. So uh, you guys can find us in a Blue Well uh, in a FDN, FDN yeah, Foundation. Blue Well FDN. Perfect. You heard that, uh, uh, guys, just uh, follow the uh, um, Blue Well. If you want to have any questions, go to the, the Telegram and they're very responsive as well. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys and uh, have a nice day. Have a you too. You too. Have a nice day. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.